but, but some other, so we have Heather Rios coming on and some other real quick tips guys is um, carve out one-on-ones with your people um, at least once a month, uh, do daily, daily touch point meetings with them, little huddles, if you will, for 10, 15 minutes. And then also just have a really good feedback system in place. And also go sit with them, go sit out on the floor with your employees, stop staying in your office all the time, get out there and be seen. So let's bring Heather on. She's actually got some great insight into this. Hi. Hi. How are yeah. you? I'm doing good. Thank you. You brought me on after Sunny. Really? I know. I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a competition, Heather. <laughs> I adore that man. I love looking at all of his Oh, like, I know. He's so inspirational. So thank you. He's Hi. wonderful. Hi. So I'm I'm good. And guys, so Heather and I have this whole interesting relationship. Uh, she's a candidate, was a candidate of mine, uh, now has been working for a client of mine. Now she's going to be a candidate again. And it's... <laughs> Whole, whole interesting relationship uh, that we've kind of become each other's therapy. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but really phenomenal human being. And one of the things that I love about Heather is her passion for her people, which we were just talking about, which is actually why you came on after Sunny, by the way, Missy. And um, I, I, so I want to kind of get your take. So the last question we were just answering is how, when you're so busy, how do you still make time for your people? You know, that's that's very common. It's 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 really hard for somebody like as myself and, and an HR person in the company who really wants to um, encourage their managers, encourage their executives to take the time to, um, you know, engage with the employees. The one thing that you did say that stood out to me was go out there, get out of your office, go mingle. Um, I encourage that at every company. I will go walk by executives and go get up, go out, you know, yes. and just say hello, say, you know, you don't even have to carry on a full conversation if you don't have the time. Just that one-on-one -on -one time of, hi, so-and-so, how are you? Um, that speaks volumes. And, and yes. then I hear, oh my gosh, the CEO just came out and just said hi to me. And that just gives them more, you know, oomph in their day. And I just, it just makes me feel so great to see my employees so happy to see that. So it's really important for us leaders to make time, carve time. What I do as an HR professional, um, because I wear so many hats in different companies, um, I get up at six, between 5.30 and six every day, and I kind of mm -hmm. have my own time. So I kind of like separate my own time and say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do work-wise, meaning, you know, all of the paperwork and everything that needs to be done. But I really focus on my employees first. Um, they are my number one priority. So what I do is, um, we use Slack in our company um, for our communication. And what I do is I usually will just do a random check-in with one of my employees. I'll pick four to five on a daily basis. And I'll just say, hi guys, just checking in to see how you're doing. Um, can HR be of any assistance? Do you wanna talk about anything? I know we have this project coming up. Um, it, are you gonna hit your deadline? Do you need help? Do you need resources? Um, just, just being there, just having somebody there to support them is all they need. Uh, right. And HR isn't a scary place. And, and you no. know, in, in my line of work, it's so funny. Um, you know, when I go on to a, you know, a new position in a company, people are afraid of me. And I don't want that, but I understand why, because the, the stigma of HR is that you hire and fire, right? Right. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm way more than hiring and firing. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, because my passion are people, um, I take a lot of ownership in making sure that a company runs smoothly. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it takes a lot of effort. But my recommendation is take some time for yourself and kind of schedule your own day. And then always have that, oh, I'm going to get interrupted here, I'm going to get interrupted there. But never lose focus of what you want to accomplish that day. Mm -hmm. Always make sure that your employees are reached are healthy, yes. are happy, and they're productive. Okay, we can't we can't wave our magic wand and make everybody happy, right? But knowing that we're here, knowing that we're here to talk, knowing that we're here to vent, knowing that we're here to, you know, communicate, that's that speaks volumes in a company. You you just you just lied though, Missy, because you can wave your little magic wand and make everybody happy. I've seen you do it. <laughs> I have talked to people that were like, I am quitting. This is the worst situation. <laughs> ever and then Heather talks to them and they're like I just love my job and my job is so great uh, you know, I, think it, I think because you have to be authentic in HR 
I, you know, yeah. I, I've been doing this for 15 plus years and you really have to be authentic because people can see right through you because yeah. number one, when you're in HR, you're considered an executive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you, you work closely with that executive team. So I want my employees to know that I'm a neutral party. Like I'm here right. to make sure that the company is successful, but my employees are also successful and productive and in compliance and all that good stuff. But it, it's really important for us to be authentic in our approach with people. I am not a coddler, never have been. Nope. You can ask both of my daughters, they nope. are trying to get going. Um, I have a way of telling people, what are you doing? You know, yeah. what, what's going on? You know, like I have a way of just communicating with people and just being honest. Like, this is what I'm hearing. This is what we need to work on. You know, don't make it a big deal. You and I are going to go on LinkedIn Learning. We're going to get some courses. We're going to get you going. We're going to, you know, run with it. Um, right. And then I also have, you know, a way to talk to people to say, are you happy? Are you really happy uh -huh. in the position that you're in? Because it doesn't seem like it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. And it has right. nothing to do with my job. It has nothing to do with people. It's just, you know, I'm kind of at a crossroad in my life where um, my oldest daughter has just graduated um, and she's okay. off to college. And I am kind of trying to find myself and what I want to do because I love people so much is this really what I want to do HR? Do I want to be a life coach? Do I want to, you know, there's so many avenues. Mm -hmm. You know, your second guest before Sunny was saying, you know, he had gone from job to job to try to find what he wants. And, you know, going into yeah. HR, it's not, it's not for everybody. But um, nope. if you have a caring nature um, bone in your body and that you can stand up to your executives and say, no, you can't do this. No, I advise you not to do that. No, I, you know, we're the no people in the company, unfortunately. So we always get you know, the burden because we have to be in compliance. So I think that it's really important that we connect, you know, with our employees, be open, be honest, be authentic. Um, yes. Authentic. Tell, That's a great word. I will tell employees when I hire them, if I hear, you will mark my words. If I hear anything, any rumblings about you and your performance, I will come to you and talk to you because mm -hmm. I want to see them succeed. And I have, lived up to every single promise that I have made to my employees. Um, and that's my word is all I have. Right. And right. so you know, that's who I am. And so it's, you know, I'm really excited about my future. I'm really excited about the company that I'm leaving's future because I'm going to keep, you know, in contact with them. I keep, you know, I keep in contact with all of my employees. I have people that reach out to me from jobs from 10 years ago that are like, Heather, I have this, this issue. Can you help me? I had somebody call me last night from a job five years ago. Um, and she said, I need your advice. I, you know, I, I need some solid advice from Heather Rios, you know, so that's, you know, like you guys are opening up the forum to people. Find me on LinkedIn, you guys. I yes. have nothing but time in, in August. I'm going to take a month off, which I'm going to love. Um, I'm going to get my daughter. Come to South Florida. Come yeah, to South Florida. Florida. <laughs> uh, take some time off, get my girls settled in college and, you know, hit me up on LinkedIn. I will be happy to discuss anything with everybody. And I love, you know, networking and meeting new people because I don't know everything. And I'm going right. to learn, I'm going to learn from the best. And so right. you know, that's where I'm at. But, and I know that we were going to talk a little bit about international hiring yes, and diversity. Yeah. And, and so this is one of the things that, that I've been through kind of with, with Heather and we've talked a lot about diversity and what that really looks like. And by the way, guys, um, at the company she's at 90% of their people are remote. <laughs> so we're talking like span all over the U S some are in Ukraine, some are in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a very interesting uh, company setup. And so she's been maintaining this culture, not face to face, but virtual. <laughs> um, but let's talk about diversity a little bit, um, because I, I think it's it's something that you've really kind of embraced and that you love and for your own personal reasons as well, I know. But um, tell me a little bit about what true diversity in a company means to you. Uh I just come back to being authentic. I mean, I need yeah. every, everybody needs to be, it's not us versus them. And you know, when I did join a, this company, it was unfortunately separated that way. Um, and I nipped that in the butt really quickly. Real quick, like, real, real quick. quick. <laughs> I was like, you know, one company, um, you know, the hard part working international is they're 1099 contractors, right? They're all independent mm -hmm. contractors. So the hard part is in their mind, they feel that they're different from a W-2 employee. Um, in my mind, no, you're not. 
You know, mm -hmm. you are you are just as valuable as the person that I'm paying medical for. That's the only thing that's pr pretty much different that what we're doing. Um, when I came on board, the biggest thing for me was to um, build that culture together and build that company, mm. that gap. So what I did was I did some perks within the company, which, you know, by law, you can. You can talk to your legal advisor. I'm not a, an attorney. Um, but we did <laughs> open up the forum to where we um, allow our 1099 contractors to take two weeks PTO paid just like our W-2. Um, they celebrate all of our 10 paid U.S. holidays. If they want to swap them for their own holidays, they can do that. They will just let HR know, and then we'll let the managers know, and they'll coordinate that. Um, you know, and then there's always, let's talk about salary. We get it. I mean, it's, it's tough okay. everywhere. Everybody that I've worked for, um, 1099 with outside of the U.S., we've done U.S.-based salaries. Um, and, you know, it's just making sure that employees feel valued. Although we are in the U.S., they're still going to be a part of the U.S. Um, right. You know, we bring them over. We bring, we've just got, um, before this pandemic hit, we just got, I want to say seven of our Brazilian team members, um, all of their traveling visas so that they can come over and, and you know, uh, work with us for a couple months and then go back. So that's what we were doing in the process of mm -hmm. building that. Um, I, they were all afraid of me, very much afraid of me. Um, and then once they got to know me and my personality, now it's like, they're just like, don't leave, please don't leave. We don't want you I to know. leave. And, and it's not, and I feel like I cry pretty much every single day because my employees mean the world to me. So I'm like, it's like, I'm getting emotional now. It's like, it's, you know, it's, it's really important for the company and the, the leadership to really embrace everybody. Mm -hmm. as a whole. Yeah. And, um, you know, like I said, we use Slack as a communication tool. The cool part, guys, is I've worked in high tech companies in the Silicon Valley for years, and I've had people standing right in front of me, and our communication stinks. Stink. Mm -hmm. Being remote in this company will have the best communication with everybody in the company, which I love. If I if it's four o'clock, you know, I slack a Brazilian team member they're on it. I'm like, you're supposed to be in bed. Why are you yeah. responding to me right now? You know, um, if I need something, I can WhatsApp anybody. They're on it. Mm -hmm. um, if they need something, vice versa. Um, I, I'm always available for my employees. Always. That's the number one thing too, that yes. and availability need to be open and just clear your calendar for whatever's needed for your employees. But making sure that you check in with your international employees is a must. I mean, because yeah. they feel so disconnected. They feel like they're not a part of the part, the company. Um, if you do have some sort of communication channel like Slack, um, I suggest that you do something as like announcements or water cooler where you guys can collaboratively do things together. I monitor it a lot. And if I see something that's inappropriate, I'll ping that person and say, right. Hey, guys, it's inappropriate. You're going to have to remove it. And they're very, they're like, Oh, sorry, Heather. I'm like, it's okay. Just remove it. Yes. Um, you know, but it's really important to, um, involve them in everything in the company, meaning birthdays, anniversaries, birthdays, um, you know, um, accomplishments, promotions, right. things like that. Um, you know, new hires as well. We do announcements. We do welcome notes for new hires and, sh you know, share across the whole company so that our Those Brazilian are so cute, by the way. I've kept your little template. I love that. I think it's so adorable. It's really important, it's really important, it's really important for new hires to feel a part of a team as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, I ask them. So for, you know, for our people out there, I ask, you know, when I do a welcome note for a new hire, I ask them to give me a headshot or a selfie. They, they always go, can I give you a selfie? Yep, give me a selfie. Um, and then, you know, three of their favorite things in a short bio about themselves. And then I put it together mm -hmm. in this little package and then send it out um, via Slack, via announcements, so that the whole company knows we have so-and-so starting on this day. Make them feel welcomed. Welcome yep. them. Give them the support that they need. Help them out, you know. Um, and that has been a true, true blessing at Pay Certify, where I'm at right now. Um, mm -hmm. You know, going forward is that you know we have built so much culture and so much. It's just amazing. I, I'm going to have lifelong relationships with these people. Oh yeah, 
yeah. especially oh, in Brazil yeah. and Ukraine. I mean, I've been, I've asked, hey, come visit me, come stay with me, come, you know, come to Rio and come, you know, so I'm like, hey, my husband and I are going to book a, a trip pretty soon and go yep. and, and, I, and I tell you, we, by the way, we just, we just had a comment that I completely agree with. We need more of Heather everywhere. And I completely agree. If we could just clone her multiple times over, the world would be a better place. And by the way, uh, so she will be looking. So if anyone's looking for, yes. and she can do anything, by the way, literally, like you could plug her in anywhere and she could do it. So if you just need the best employee in the whole wide world, um, I highly, highly recommend either her or Dan, actually, both of these people that are on the screen with me right now. Um, so we're going to say bye for now. But thank you again. Connect with Heather on LinkedIn. Thanks, bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Um, thank you so much. And, and yeah, connect with her on LinkedIn. Um, she's really, really terrific. She's absolutely wonderful uh, as a human being. And she's done so much work with diversity and, and helping management grow and all that. And with the remote culture that's across multiple countries.